hello everyone so in this video i am going to show you how to make voltage divider and current divider circuit using p space okay so for that uh, what we need we need um, resistors and PC, dc voltages so although i have shown you, shown you that i can search um, our items here but it is but the easiest way is always to find our components directly in the search box for example if i click pdc if i write pdc pdc means this is a dc voltage right then i'll need resistors so if i write r that means this is resistor okay so now this resistor is in uh, horizontally aligned so if you want to make it vertical so what i have to do is i have to click control r i have to press control and r so i click i click again and i click again so i have three resistors then i right click and this disappears so i can slightly zoom in so i can slightly zoom in and now it is more visible now i have to connect these parts so for that i have this draw wire button draw wire so i just connect them very easily okay so again we right click let's say our dc voltage is 10 volt okay now all these three resistors are 1k 1k and 1k so you can change them just by clicking here Let, let's make it suppose 2k 2k now what i have to do i have to do the simulation okay before simulation what you have to do is we have to put a ground here because if we don't give the ground the simulation will show error in p space always remember that we have to indicate which point is ground so for that what we do see you have to click here e z n d electrical ground e z n d and i click it then right click then this is the ground okay so now i do the simulation so for that i have to click analysis and simulate so new schematic must be saved prior to netlist so we have to save this somewhere so i just make a folder voltage voltage divider and i save it so this is voltage divider pt i save this and the simulation is done so you can see here if you click this button the v button your voltage will show here so this is v voltage so at this point the voltage is 10 volt at this point it is 5 volt at this point it is 2.5 volt so you can calculate your result so if i change this suppose now it is 1k but i suppose make it 5k now most of the voltage will be dropped across this so as soon as i make it 5k i have to run the simulation again i have to click um, this analysis and simulate so it is updated automatically so now this becomes 10 volt this becomes 7.5 volt so now most of the voltages is dropped across this 5k register so you can calculate theoretically and see if the result is matching or not now if i click this i then we can see the current at each branch now you can see here the current is same for because this is a series circuit so our current is same for the entire circuit so it is very simple the g analysis is very simple so now i will make a um, now i will make a current divider circuit so for that i have to close this first uh, i have to close this also then again i can this is the schematic button i can directly press here or what you can do is you can close the everything you close everything and again search for schematic sch schematic so now i have to make a current divider so again for this current divider i will need this pdc which is the dc voltage source and i will need resistor so let's say i have three resistors in parallel then i 
join using the wires I can join the wires let me zoom okay so now I can join the wires so if it goes anywhere like this if it goes any extra just you have to right click and you can press the control Z to remove this Okay, again I have done a mistake. So just click here. Then, so I have connected all the components, and now let's say, let's say this is again 10 volt. So I run the simulation simulate so I have to save the file so let's say this is let me save it in a separate folder it is always good to uh, save it in a separate folder because uh, I'll show you because when you make a simulation suppose this is full distributor so it creates a lot of files so if you don't make a separate folder then sometimes the software may get, get confused which file is associated to which particular simulation so it is always better to have a new folder for every simulation so make it current divider So let's name it ID and see once this window opens that means your simulation is over. So I am going to show you what is to be done with this window uh, in the next simulation but when this window appears you understand that your simulation is over but again you can see here there is some error here and why that error is coming because we have not given the ground. So by look, you can look at this whenever there is a red mark in this window that is an error it shows that some point is floating some point is floating means some points are not connected that means we have not given the ground so some points are not connected now i do the simulation again analysis so uh, for just if you want to see i close this window and i run the simulation simulate and once the simulation is done this window will appear so you can see here this uh, this is uh, 30 ampere and because this is because all the three resistances are same so they are doing exactly the same current because um, this is uh, 10 volt and these three resistances you can calculate and see the result so let just uh, to verify let me just change the values a bit let's say this is 10k now this should draw less current and let's say this is 500 ohm so see in this space whenever you have to write ohm we write e okay e means ohm this is the same notation that is used in the resistors so i simulate again analysis and simulate so close this window and now you see uh, this is drawing 10 ampere 10 milliampere this is drawing 1 milliampere and this is drawing 20 milliampere so as soon as i change this resistances you get a separate result because the minimum resistor is drawing maximum current and maximum resistor is drawing minimum current this is the basic principle of current divider so just by clicking here you can remove the voltage you can remove the current you can bring the current you can bring the voltage it is very simple so with this we stop here see you in the next video thank you